Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. In this lecture, we will study what is the difference between propagation delay of a flip flop and what is the okay, so basically what is the propagation delay of flip flop and what is the difference with this propagation delay and hold time set on time of a flip flop. So you can notice we have already seen what is hold time, we have already seen what is a set of time, and we also know what is a propagation delay. Propagation delay means what? Okay, so this propagation delay, this PD. Okay, so in short, let me call it PD. Let me call it in short PD. So what is propagation delay? Propagation delay of a flip flop. So what is propagation delay of a flip flop? You can notice in the flip flop, if you notice, okay, for example, any flip flop you take. So in this flip flop, we have gates. Okay, you can notice how we create SR flip flop. So we, we can create SR flip flop using and NAND gates. Okay, so like this, we can create SR flip flop. So you can notice that, okay, so something like this. So this type of, this type of, okay, uh, flip flop we have. Okay, so you can notice that in within a flip flop, okay, inside a flip flop, you have these gates, these logic gates you have, and every logic gate has a propagation delay. So, this logic gate, this logic gate, every logic gate has a propagation delay. So, you can notice overall the flip flop also has a propagation delay. So, you can notice because your flip flop inside the flip flop, you are using these, these circuits, okay, some elements you are using, some physical elements you are using, for example, like logic gates, okay, these circuits you are using. So, okay, so these logic gates you are using. So, that is the reason I can say this flip flop also has a propagation delay. Now, what is a propagation delay? Propagation delay, remember the definition is very simple. Propagation delay of any circuit means basically when you apply the input, okay, and after how much time you will get your output. So, propagation delay is very simple. Okay, so let me explain the propagation delay from flip flop point of view. So, what is propagation delay of a flip flop? Of a flip flop. So the definition is very simple that you can notice your flip flop will start working when you when you are okay because if your flip flop is positive edge triggered then your flip flop will work when okay the positive edge comes so you can notice when the positive edge comes then flip flop will work okay so during the positive edge during the during the rising edge or I can say positive edge during this edge during this edge so I can say during this edge and so on so you can notice during this rising age if your flip-flop is positive edge triggered i am assuming that my flip-flop is positive edge triggered then you can notice during the positive edges our flip-flop will work okay so this is the clock now what is propagation delay propagation delay means after this age comes after okay once this age comes okay after how much time your output will be available or i can say your output will be stable the flip-flop output will be stable so the concept is very simple that Okay, after this rising age, okay, I can say after this rising age, when will your flip flop output be stable? So, when will your output will be available? When the correct output will be available? When the valid output will be available? Okay, so this is the definition. The definition of, let's see the definition. So, the definition is very simple. Now, the propagation delay of flip flop means basically, I can say propagation delay of flip flop. What that means? That means that, okay. <clears throat> once okay when when a clock when a triggering clock is alive arrives i can say okay when a triggering because if your if your flip-flop is negative as triggered then triggering as means basically that is falling as if your flip-flop is positive as triggered then your triggering as is rising as so when a triggering as arrives okay then after that okay af okay after how much amount of time i can say okay so when a triggering as arrives then after how much after how much amount of after how much time okay flip flop output will be stable i can say okay after how much amount of time flip flop output will be stable will be stable or i can say after how much amount of time your output will be available or i can say okay so basically i can say after how much amount of time our output will be stable or available so that is called propagation delay because you can notice inside a flip-flop we have these logic gates and every logic gate has a delay so every logic gate has a delay for example if you are applying the input as t equal to zero okay at time t equal to zero i am applying the inputs then every logic gate has a propagation delay for example let us assume these have delay 5 nanoseconds let us assume these also have delay 5 nanoseconds now you can notice i am applying the inputs at t equal to 0 at this point of time i am applying the inputs but you can notice that my output will be valid my output will be stable after 10 nanoseconds okay so you can notice this output i can say this output q this output will q will be stable okay after this output q will be stable after 
10 nanoseconds okay so i am applying the input remember the input i am applying at t equal to 0 but after 10 nanosecond my output will be stable okay so out i can say output is stable after 10 nanoseconds so this is actually called propagation delay of a flip flop okay so the definition is very simple that when this when this triggering is arrives then after how much amount of time our output will be stable after how much amount of time our output will be stable or available or valid etc okay so let us take example and let's check it out so for example let us assume that you have a deep flip flop so let's assume that your deep flip flop is like this so i am assuming that our deep flip flop is positive as triggered so this is the deep flip flop and this is the output q you can notice and this is the output q bar and this is the clock and this is the this flip flop is positive as triggered now let us assume that d flip flop has the propagation delay let's assume the propagation delay of this d flip flop is let's assume 1 nanosecond or i can say okay, maybe 3 nanoseconds you can write so let's assume that this propagation delay is 3 nanoseconds now what it means it, it means like this so let us assume you have a clock so this is the clock okay so now you can notice this is the clock so let us assume this is your clock and now we are saying that now and let us assume that this own period is 5 nanosecond so let's assume that own period is 5 nanosecond so let me assume that this own period or i can say this clock width let me assume this is 5 nanosecond and also let me assume that this is also 5 nanosecond okay so let me assume it so now you cannot this is a clock in which our own period is also 5 nanosecond and our off period is also 5 nanosecond so total clock period is 10 nanosecond you can notice for this clock the clock period i can say this clock period is 10 nanosecond okay so this is your clock now let us assume you have an input d and okay now <clears throat> so what is the propagation delay i want to explain so you can notice this d flip flop is okay positive edge triggered so during these positive edges during these rising edges your d flip flop will actually work okay so let us assume that our d input is like this okay so our d input is okay high and let us assume here it becomes zero and let's assume it goes like this and let's assume here it becomes high and let's assume that it goes like this okay so something now okay so like this now this is the our input d now you can notice what i'm saying is so let us assume our okay output initially was zero let's assume our input uh, our output our output q was initially zero i'm assuming that our output q was initially zero okay so you can notice this is the point so let's assume that output q is initially zero now what will happen that when okay when this edge comes i can say or now you can notice when this positive edge comes then this flip flop will work so you can notice your flip flop will start working your flip flop will work your flip flop is positive edge triggered so during this rising edge your flip flop will actually work okay so you can notice during this rising edge what will happen your output should change to one because your input d is one so i can say that output should change to one output should definitely change to one but what will happen because propagation delay is three nanosecond so actually output will change to one because you can notice during this high age during this rising age you can notice that our input is already one so our output will change to one definitely our output will change to one but it will change to one after three nanoseconds because our you can notice our propagation delay is three nanoseconds so our output will change our output will be available output will be available after three nanoseconds okay so af after three nanoseconds output will be available so remember this period you can notice this period is actually your t propagation delay this is three nanosecond so you can notice that output will be available output will be stable output will be valid after three nanosecond okay so after three nanosecond out, out, output will be valid now again you can notice this is the rising edge and you can notice for this rising edge again you can notice that for this rising edge our input value is already d uh, zero so you can notice at this point of time when this rising edge when this rising edge comes when this rising edge comes then at this point of time our input is already zero so our output will also become zero but output will take three nanosecond time okay to become zero so basically at this point of time our flip-flop will work remember at this point of time when you are giving a rising edge so when this rising edge arrives then this flip-flop will work and you can notice that because this flip-flop has propagation delay three nanosecond so the output will be available after three nanoseconds so you can notice after three nanosecond our output will go to zero so output will go to zero but after three nanoseconds so again you can notice this is the propagation delay 
again you can notice this is the propagation delay correct so this is the concept this is the propagation delay concept means after this positive wave arrives when this triggering wave arrives okay after how much amount of time our output will be stable after how much amount of time our output will be available or after how much amount of time our output will be valid okay similarly you can notice this is another you can note this is another uh, positive wave this is another rising wave and you can notice when this positive wave arrives at that time input d is already 1 okay so our output also will become 1 but it will become 1 after 3 nanoseconds so you can notice because okay for this rising edge our circuit will work okay when this when this positive wave arrives then your flip flop will work and you can notice your input is already when this when this positive wave arrives your input is already 1 okay so our output will also become 1 but it will become 1 after 3 nanoseconds so after 3 nanosecond our our output will become 1 so you can notice that this is the t propagation delay this is t propagation delay so this is the concept of propagation delay the concept is very simple when a triggering is arrives then after how much amount of time after how much amount of time flip flop output will be available or valid this is the propagation delay now let us see the difference between propagation delay and hold time okay so let's see the difference between that so propagation delay basically propagation delay of flip flop versus flip flop versus setup time versus setup time of flip flop versus hold time of flip flop so okay let's see the difference of all these concepts so the concepts are very simple all the definitions we have already seen these definitions we have seen now let's see this with the example so let us assume that hold time is 1 nanosecond let me assume this okay so let me assume that hold time is 1 nanosecond and let me assume that setup time is 5 nanosecond so let's assume that setup time is let's assume 5 nanoseconds and let's assume that propagation delay of flip flop i can say t propagation delay of flip flop let's assume that is 3 nanoseconds now you can notice here so setup time is 5 nanoseconds and hold time 1 nanosecond and propagation delay 3 nanoseconds so here what it actually means let me tell you so again let's take a clock so let's assume that this is the clock you can notice okay so let's assume that this is a clock okay so this is our clock and <clears throat> let us assume that this clock has this is the 10 nanosecond and let's assume this is also 10 nanosecond so let me assume that on period off period both are 10 nanosecond so let me assume right now that this on period is also 10 nanosecond and let me also assume uh, let me also assume that this off period is also 10 nanosecond okay let me assume so this is your clock in which the period the clock period is actually 20 nanosecond so this is our clock now you can notice the setup time is 5 nanosecond what it means it means that when this positive wave comes okay when this positive wave comes so at least 5 nanoseconds before this positive wave comes our data must be ready okay so our data must be ready at least 5 nanoseconds before this edge comes so let us assume that our output is zero okay let us assume at this point of time so let's assume our output is zero so let's assume that my output is zero now you can notice that since my output is zero that is fine my output is zero let's assume i want my output to be one okay so at this clock is when this clock is arrives i want my output to change to one let's assume this okay now you can notice if i want my output to change to one at this positive clock is at this rising is then what i need to do i need to apply the input d equal to one and you can notice setup time is five nanosecond what it means that i should apply this input d equal to one at least five nanosecond before this before this rising edge so remember i should apply my d equal to one my input d equal to one so this is the setup time remember this is the setup time you can notice this is your five nanosecond which is a setup time let me call it t setup time so ts means t setup time so remember this point so you can notice in this duration your input should not change so if you are okay let us assume that i want my output to change to one this is what i want this is what i want i want my output to change to one then i need to apply d equal to one but i need to apply d equal to one at least five nanoseconds before this rising is so i cannot apply d equal to one here remember if i do this then you can notice in this setup time i am changing my data and if i do this then my circuit behavior will be unpredictable so i cannot change this input 
during this period i can say that if i want to apply d equal to 1 then i should apply d equal to 1 i should change this input d at least 5 nanosecond before this uh, bef at least 5 nanosecond before this rising edge so what i can do i can change my input d okay maybe i can change here no problem okay i can change here okay no problem so this is this is what i can do because you can notice i should change i must change my input d at least 5 nanoseconds before this rising edge so i must change my input d at least 5 nanoseconds before this rising edge so i can change my input d here no problem there is no problem here i can change my input d here also i can change my input d here also that is also not a problem but i cannot change input d like this remember i can change input d here no problem i can change input d here no problem i can change input i cannot change input d here in this period i cannot change input d i can change input d here no problem okay so remember at this point of time i can change input d there is no problem here okay at this point of time at this point of time i can change so there is no problem so but you can notice i should not change my input d at this point of time so if i want my output to go from 0 to 1 then i should apply d equal to 1 i should change my input d from 0 to 1 and i should change this input d from 0 to 1 at least 5 nanoseconds before this rising edge because this is the set of time okay now you can notice that hold time is also given hold time is 1 nanosecond what it means it means that data this data must be stable this data must be stable for after this after this rising edge for one second at least for one second this data must be stable remember yes correct so you can notice this is the whole time you can notice okay this duration if you notice this duration is the whole time this duration is th which is one nanosecond so this is the duration okay and i can say after this rising edge after this rising edge for at least one nanosecond for at least one nanosecond my data must be stable my data must not change so during this period data must not change okay now data can change no problem there is no problem here data can change i don't have any problem but in this duration data should not change or data can change here i don't have any problem so data can change here there is no problem data can change here there is no problem but data should not change here there is a problem in this duration data should not change so i can say after the rising age for at least one nanosecond for at least one nanosecond data should not change data can change here there is no problem okay at this point of time data can change no problem okay so you can notice the data can change here now let us see what is this what is this propagation delay so this setup time we have seen this whole time we have seen now let us see propagation delay is three nanosecond what it means it means that you can notice one thing propagation delay means when your output will be valid so remember okay this basically means okay you're in this is basically for input i can say this basically is for input of this is for input of uh, flip-flop so these two times are for input of flip-flop means your input must be stable in okay in these times okay so this is for input of flip-flop and this is for output of flip-flop you can notice this is for output of flip-flop so you can notice that flip-flop propagation delay is three nanosecond what it means it means like this so your q output is zero here and in this positive edge, at this rising edge, you can notice that our input D is already one. So at this point of time, when you okay, when you are getting this rising edge, when you are getting this positive edge, our input D is already one. So our output Q will become one, definitely. Yes, our output Q will become one, but Q will become one after three nanosecond because there is a propagation delay of three nanosecond. So you can notice the output Q will become one. Output Q will become one, but after three nanosecond. So this output Q will become one after three nanosecond. This will become one. This is called propagation delay. After this rising edge, you can notice. Okay, after this rising edge, okay, when your input will become available, when, sorry, when your output will become valid, when your output will be stable, this is called propagation delay. So this is three nanosecond. So you can notice again the definition. You can check it out here. The definition it means after the triggering edge, from the triggering edge, okay. To when your output will become stable your output will become stable after how much time your output will become stable so you can notice in this example this is the this is the positive edge after this positive edge you cannot after this positive edge okay after how much amount of time your output will be stable so output will be stable after three nanosecond so this is the propagation delay so you cannot this is the propagation delay this is the hold time this is the setup time so this is the relation okay so this is <clears throat> this is the comparison of hold time setup time and 
propagation delay. I hope this concept is clear to everyone. If anyone has any doubt, you can ask your doubt in the comment section. We will answer it. Okay. So this is the concept of propagation delay, hold time and uh, I can say set time. Okay. Now this actually propagation delay of this, I can say this propagation delay of flip flop, we represent, we denote by TPD. Okay. So this means T propagation delay. We also say okay so some some people okay you can notice propagation delay of flip-flop i can represent like this t propagation delay or i can represent or i can represent like this i can say that t clock t clock to q what it means what it actually means let us see what it actually means i told you that propagation delay means what i told you propagation delay means okay when your clock age arrives so i, I can say from triggering is from triggering is from triggering as arrival for from triggering as arrival okay when you are triggering as arrival okay so from triggering as arrival to to uh, output become stable to output q becoming stable to output q becoming available or stable to output q becoming stable or i can say available or i can say valid so you can notice so after Okay, from this triggering of from this triggering as arrival to output Q becoming stable. So this this propagation delay of flip flop I can represent by T P D or I can write T clock to Q means from from triggering as when this clock is arrived when this triggering as of this clock is arrived or arriving. Okay, from there from there to when your this output will be stable. Okay, so this is another symbol for propagation delay. This is another symbol for propagation delay of a flip-flop. Okay, so this is the concept and you can notice the comparison in this chart. You can see the comparison. So, okay, hold time and set of time means the data must be stable here. The input data must be stable here. So you can notice. Okay, let's see that the comparison here. So let's assume that this is your this is your rising age. So let's assume this is the rising age. This is the clock and for this clock. This is the rising age. Now we are saying that what is hold time? And what is set of time? Remember, this is the set of time, and let us assume this is the hold time. So you can notice, you can notice that you can notice in this period data will be data should be stable. In this period, I can say data must be stable. In this period, data must be stable. I can say the input data. I can say the input data must be stable in this period. So because this period is your, I can say this period is T S. This period is time setup, and this period is a time hold. This period is time hold. So this is hold time, and this is setup time. Okay. So you can notice during this period the input data must be stable. So this concept we have already seen. Okay. You can also see what is propagation delay. Okay. Propagation delay means after this. Okay. After this. Okay. Till how much amount of time your okay when your output will become stable. So you can notice here the output will be stable. I can say okay here output will be stable. Remember here the output is not stable. You can just check it out. I can say that this this duration this duration. Okay, you can just note that this duration is basically t propagation delay. This is your t propagation delay, or I can write like this t clock t clock to q. Okay, so this symbol we can use. Okay, so you can notice that. In this period, the output is not stable. Remember, in this period, output is not stable. Here, the output is stable. So I can say from this triggering as from this triggering as to when this output becomes stable, this duration is called propagation delay. So this duration is the propagation delay, and you can notice during this amount of time. Okay, I can say during this amount of time, our output is stable, unstable. I can say here the output Q is unstable. Here the output Q is unstable. And the output Q will be stable here. Okay, so this is the concept of. Okay, so I can say, for example, I told you that here input data must not change. Here data can change. I can say here data input data can change. Here input data may change. Okay, so if you want, you can change your data here. You cannot change your data in this duration, but you can change data here. And similarly, you can change the data also here. Okay, so I can say in this duration also data may change. I can say in this duration I can say. Input data may change. Correct. 
okay so these are some concepts okay this these are the comparisons of propagation delay and <clears throat> and set of time and hold time okay so all these concepts we have seen in the next lecture we will see how to find out what is the minimum clock period okay of a of a clock okay so your clock how much must be uh, how much clock period you must have okay in terms of hold time setter time okay so if you consider hold time if you consider setter time if you consider propagation delay if you consider all these timing issues then how can you find out minimum clock period of your clock okay or i can say how can you find out maximum clock frequency okay so this is what we are going to study in the next lecture okay thank you everyone